Okay, guys, hope everyone is doing well. You guys seem to have really liked, uh, I think it was three days ago's video where I was explaining everything that goes through my mind. So I'm going to do that again. So let's see. Uh, Maokai virus into smolder blitz. Well, I think this is not the best synergy you have, like, uh... Scaling champion that's pretty weak early um, with the Blitzcrank, so they're not gonna do much on Blitzcrank hooks early on and even in mid game, uh, at least like just like bot lane. Uh, into Maokai virus, which looks way more scary, and Maokai is not gonna have trouble like getting engages on Blitzcrank, so I feel like, yeah, they're just gonna out DPS uh, Blitzcrank. These two guys focused, focusing this guy is gonna do more damage than these two guys focusing this guy. I believe okay so it looks it looks pretty good for my bot lane pretty easy to snowball but if they get behind it can look pretty scary um then anivia into silas well is silas a tough matchup for anivia because anivia is just looking to scale up i think it's actually fine i think it shouldn't be too hard for anivia this is looking good as well just like blitz can look for a ganks mid and they can be pretty scary because she has no escape no dashes or anything uh, jungle it's iron versus listen um so now i'm seeing like we have like two supports with me and virus and ap damage and we have engage and we have disengage like we, we have a pretty uh balanced comp i do like it um and then iron iron is kind of a weird jungler don't really know what to expect from Ivern because like listen is a jungler that can apply pressure early on and Kevin have some pretty strong ganks do we, do we go oh but why do you throw this like that oh yeah 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 It's a bit sad. We throw Iron Q for nothing. Shit, I should have based. And we miss Anivia Q where like could have hit five people. Uh I, I ate uh Sailor's E because like I'm the only one who can actually escape from that in my team. So I was happy to eat it. Okay. As long as he denied the experience, I'm happy. Because Orin is actually a champion that's case of XP. Shit. I could have seen that coming. One camp into top, so he's gonna be pretty late in his uh, like jungle pathing. Okay, let's get let's get it spicy. Never mind. Yeah, I think Anivia should have actually ate uh, Sailor's E. Because she has egg and would have baited them. She shouldn't flash here. I think I still have Demolish from last game, which was against uh, Shen. I also do believe that Demolish is actually good to have into Orn. I was looking to bait that. 
Um. An enemy has been slain. Oh, you're not in a hurry, okay. Oh, shit. Stop again. I was not looking and I was not expecting him to be top again. He been top the whole game, what the fuck? I mean no, like it's weird because he was top, then he went mid, and from mid he went bot, and then he's top again. I don't know. I mean, I'm actually, I, sh I actually should be happy that Lissin is playing for top. Because like he's playing for an Orn, Orn is gonna be useful regardless. It's not the one like needing to snowball or to get resources. Crit. Do we take those? I think we should have maybe played Krabs. It's okay, you know what? We're chilling. I'm basing. And I'm actually buying cool. And I'm gonna farm up, scale up, and be useful again in mid game. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, 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 oy. This bird, why did you cancel base? Why did you not go grubs? Why do you complain about Anivia? Many questions that will stay unanswered. It's okay, so my play right now is. It's gonna depend what. Ivan wants to do. If he wants to play grabs or not. But why do you auto? Why do you auto him? It's okay. Get the assist. Next play is to push this. Sure, we get that. Okay. Well, I have zero kill pressure on Orn, so I'm just gonna farm up. Keep working on my. My cool. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're playing for mid game. Mm -mm -mm. My champ is actually pretty good into their champs.
So this should be a good Trindamir game. Plus I have an Avern. And the Maokai. Which are like two of the best champs to have with the Trindamir. Okay, he's still mid. Orn, so... I'm gonna get the push now. Maybe get the Demolish proc. If Lissin is going back to bots, which seems like it. Well, I can actually look to kinda proxy this wave. Drop a ward here. And work on that. Not sure about going back in. Oof. Nice he played, and Anivia is actually doing a good job just like staying mid and using void grubs. Yeah, he has uh by my cinder, so. I can punish him. Ah, nice try. She didn't get quite in the bush. Yeah, I can punish him for getting under turret. And now I see kind of everyone on map. It's only not Silas, but if Silas is actually top, uh, we get T1. Mid. How much do I need for Kraken? I need plenty of gold. This is very risky. I'm allowing myself to do that because... Because we're very ahead and I don't think me dying here like... Puts us from a winning situation to a losing situation. I need 20 still. I might drop top lane completely. Play for that Drake with my team. Like if it was a Jax or a Fiora, I wouldn't do that because I don't want the Jax or the Fiora to get free resources. But if it's an Orn. I don't mind it. Okay, just buying some time. My team to come back and play this again. I'm actually fine with him hooking me. Yeah, that's why. <laughs>
Okay, Anivia is finally coming to this one hour fight. And she misses. Okay. And she misses again. Bro, Anivia is so bad. I mean, I'm going back, but <laughs> let's go Korea gameplay. Yeah, oh, we're gonna get this Drake. I don't, I don't care. We're gonna end up getting it. It's ours. Yeah, I don't really want any of you joining those fights. I have zero trust in her. Oh, we can, we can. Okay, finally we have a kind of normal state where I'm split pushing, my bot lane is mid, Nivia is on side lane as well. Finally, looks normal again. <laughs> okay, well we came back, we were 0 to 0 and then... Now we're having resources again. As I said, my champ is pretty good, plus I have supports playing with me. I kind of want to help on that play, but... Yes, let's lose more time. Okay, maybe the flash was a bit overkill, but he ghosted, no? I think he could have kited me. I mean, I'd rather have my ghost than my flash, actually. Like, that's that's the whole idea behind it. If I, if I thought that I needed to ghost to actually catch him and, and kill him, then it's fine to flash. If I didn't need to, then it's a bit of a waste. Another demolish proc. Okay. I didn't get the triumph in time. <laughs> what a fiesta, man! Uh, against like I'm not I'm not gonna fight Orn against these champs. What's most useful? The thing is, I, like I, I'm able to hit consistently. I think I can afford to go rage blade second. Um, yeah, I don't feel I don't feel like I'm getting kited or anything. And this is actually good into Orn as well. Mm -mm -mm. Well, T1 is still standing top, so I'm gonna play for this. Their best play here, bot actually, is to let this wave kill theirs and then let the T2 die by itself. Hopefully, they're not gonna do that. Okay, they're not. Nice. So we still have 700 gold to take, but... Um, I can just ignore the Silas. I mean, 
this would have been better if I had ult. I mean, I take responsibility just for my death. Now, if my whole team dies, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna think that it's on me. What the fiesta man? Um, An enemy is legendary. Can maybe push up top and then rotate to Drake. Can go through walls. Still discovering this champ. Mm. Do I have time for one more? Well, with Trindermir, actually, being late is kind of being on time. I mean, it depends on the champions and the fights. Like, are they going to be short or long, etc. But if you're late, most likely it means that you come when they used stuff. And you come also from a good angle. So it's actually often okay to be late. Nice, nice, nice. I let my team take care of Orn and got Smolder. Got their attention and at the end, it's important to like. I, I'm not, I'm not the best team fighter, guys, okay, so I'm not gonna do too much uh, education on team fights and how you should fight them. But it's important to have an idea of how you're getting in, but also how you're getting out. And not just like go in and die. I think it's Silas TP, so I'm fine here. It's actually not Silas TP. Okay, that's my best way of helping that fight actually. Just pressuring bot, make sure that Silas doesn't go there. And if they want to go Nash, I don't have a shutdown, that's, that's what I was looking for. Oh shit, red buff. Let's pray for my team. Okay, he cancelled, he cancelled. Oof! But he still has W. Oh, it was W and he still has Q. Okay, okay. Will 50 58, I guess it worked. Smolder. Ghosted. Uh, it's it's fine. That was actually ping back. So now, a good idea whenever you have Nash is actually to be you in mid lane and send your team on the side lane. This way they cannot really get engaged. It's way harder. <coughs> but when you're actually on the side lane and they're mid, they can get engaged from top and from bot. But here, because I have three items, I'm so strong and I have two supports. I think I'm just gonna like push sides to apply pressure. But then I actually want to play with my team. Yeah, he was looking to kill me at the blitz. Still looking to kill me. Nice. I 
I think it did decent here. Like first I what it's called I zoomed like kinda three of them. Play pressure. And then I used Orn to stack my Rage Blade into go under back lane. Nice! Okay, well I might post this one. Oh my cam is a bit too high. Um yeah, I think I might post it. So if I did, well thank you guys for watching it. Um, if you like the content, feel free to drop a like, a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck and have fun in-game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace, guys. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>